theory that says the the easiest uh, person to sell to is someone who's already your client. Yeah. Um, so, so the cost, yeah, the cost of getting someone new is always more than the cost of retaining yeah, someone that's already at. Yeah. Exactly. So. because um, for me I, I'm not a father and I don't have a girlfriend or, like, or anything like that um, but I find that when I get into a routine where you know like you know, like even small little things mm. you know like even a beauty routine you know yeah. um, you know like before I go to bed at night I have like my like me you know like my face care routine in the morning, face care, you know, like just waking up, going to wash your face, yeah. you know, um, coming downstairs because I work from home, you know, um, doing some workouts, playing music, mm -hmm. okay, in my mornings, that usually gets me, that, uh, that usually gets me into, you know, like into, like into, like into the right mood and into the right, you know, the correct mood that I need to, right to actually, space. exactly, to actually, to, to actually face my day. And then I find that, when you know, whenever I fall out of that routine, you know, like um, I start becoming less productive and I start feeling my blood pressure, you know, starts to rise. And you know, I, um, yeah, I, like I, 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 I actually know physically when my blood pressure starts to rise because because I had because I had really um, high blood pressure back in twenty sixteen. Yeah. And you know, and then from health or stress? From stress. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so yeah. when you're not in your routine, you're not getting stuff done, which makes you stress, which makes your your exactly. It makes me. It makes me less productive. Yeah. So even the smallest things, you know, um, and even small things like waking up in the morning, making my bed. Yes. Okay. I do that every morning. Yeah. Yeah. That um um that small little routine, you know, like helps me, uh, kick starts me like into my day. And there's a very famous talk by a. Uh, an ex-marine who says if you want to be successful make make your bed in the morning yeah yes yeah so yeah it's on youtube somewhere yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> all right all right cool man yeah so so in terms of your business now um you know like you guys you guys obviously you know like when you i mean like when you guys lose um like lose clients um as with any other business how, how do you normally how do you normally cope with that you know what's the step that you guys take so there's been there's been a number of, of different ways um for many many years the, the company uh, our company didn't struggle with getting clients um we had a very good reputation and through word of mouth we were consistently busy um more and more with uh, the ups and downs of the economy you then have to deal with people uh, tightening on their budgets so people don't have the ex expendable cash that they used to have. Um, and that means that their spending changes um, and they aren't as willing to rebrand or remarket themselves. Um, so don't, you, don't you think it's, don't you think it might also be because, because, of, because of the digital age, um, there's, a, there's a lot more, there's a lot more people being able to, you know, going online and just offering um, similar services, you know, like yeah, like yeah. like similar services. Yeah. Um, you know, like with like super low slash prices. Yeah. Um, and some and, and you know and with some companies with like with, like with very tight budgets, um, they might decide no, they're gonna go for some yeah. for um, for some kid or you know which is you know which is great you know. Um, it it empowers really those those guys who are entering the the industries. It it helps other people make side incomes, which a lot of people do need to. With our company, we we've we've always offered a, a, a more bespoke offering. We we engage with the clients on a different level. But bespoke, uh, what do you what you, do you mean like do you mean like a custom, yeah, custom it, tailor made, um, it, yeah, with like consultancy, yeah, okay, spe specific to your brand and mm. what what's your goal and how what industry are you in and what's the best for that industry and. Um, the, the, the thought process goes a little bit deeper than these. If you take, there's a lot of different uh, ranges of pricing online, but you get these um, uh, like generic uh, computer generated logo machines that are very 
cost effective and then mm. you've got uh, guys online who will do design and then there's it, different very cost. I've actually I've actually seen um funny enough like I've seen how you guys do your logo designs and you like in your branding everything starts from a piece of pen to the paper mm. and everything gets drawn out first yeah. before it even gets you know uh, before it even gets designed on a um on the screen yeah on uh, yeah like on the screen which is you know which is something that we you know like a lot of people don't do nowadays well our creative director has over 35 years experience and he's an artist he actually paints he's an art, yeah he is a painter yeah yeah so so his experience and his thought process um is a lot more tactile or um analog almost than the up and coming because designers. yeah I, I remember speaking to him and asking him you know like like you you, you no offense but you old man <laughs> I, 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 and you've been doing this for many years i mean you're not 30 years 35 years. 35 years but i'm like but 35 years ago <laughs> there were no there was no um adobe or illustrator or anything like that so how, how did you do it and, and I remember him telling me that he used that they drew stuff yeah. like they had like those like what do you call it those like boards the, they like, used to stencil everything out cut it out photograph it. it yeah it was completely different story back then yeah but his knowledge of all of that exactly then helps yeah. him implement yeah. logos and and in like just process. exactly yeah yeah so back to how do we uh, deal with clients when we lose we have to find new clients um and more and more we've been working on having a number of clients who are um almost ready to take the step so if any uh, so if and when we f start f finishing a project for a client the next one is almost ready mm, okay so 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 it's not so it's not losing a client all the time sometimes it's just a, like it's just a project ending yeah yeah, uh, like okay, cool. We've got a six months. We've got we have a six months contract to do this work to actually launch this brand. Yeah, get it out there, and then and then 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 obviously you've got new clients waiting for new work to actually start. Yeah, and and always, no matter what, with design projects and branding projects, you have a lot of work at the beginning, and then it starts to slow down because it just needs support. Um, so at those stages, either we would take a step back, and the client would have uh, one or two junior people internally that would manage mm. it or our workload would reduce which means our retainer would reduce mm. um, more and more what we've what we're doing and what we're trying to do moving forward is create our own brands and work on our own brands because we have control over those mm. um, and if and when those brands start creating money then it it changes the whole dynamic of, of us having to look for clients then we become our own clients and we're able to maintain the overheads of the team um the question that's in my head right now is is that you know the way i see a company like yours i like i like you know like if i was like if well we work together okay and i oh and and, and i always see a company like mine or me working with you guys for for like forever and the way i see that happening is combining what you guys bring to the table together with marketing because yeah. for example with, um, with coca-cola there's they always need continuous continuous um continuous um branding continuous um graphic work continuous advertising you know stuff done for them um However, the marketing aspects, you know, like you know, for a, a digital marketer like myself, and also you know, like a bit of off, like a, like a bit of offline marketing and networking, you need, you, like you need your services and 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 yours, like, yeah, and mine, yeah. So isn't it? So isn't it? You know, um, isn't it another way to look at this to have more longevity with clients? combining what you do along with the digital uh, marketing so that you can prolong the service that you are actually providing to uh, to um, to clients instead of launching them um, to a point and then you know because whenever there's digital marketing 
that fresh material needs to be pumped out for every single time. And that material, you know, needs to work, uh, 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 work hand in hand with a, with, with a digital marketing agency. So having, so, so maybe having like a, you know, taking on, not, like not just taking on the graphics and design part of, part of a company, um, to, but taking on the graphics design and then the, um, the digital marketing part of the company to actually give, um, you know, give people a more prolonged, you know, like service. Because look, Coca-Cola stopped advertising um, for you know, like a, 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 few, a few years ago and they saw a huge drop because, you know, so company needs to continuously advertise and for them to advertise, they need the creative design company behind, behind the advertisement. Working with a um, the strategy behind yeah, the strategy, the yeah, campaign, hundred percent. The uh, I think this kind of leads into the entrepreneurship of it all. So, so as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as a um, as the leader of the team, you need to decide what avenues your business is going to invest in. And also, you can't work in silos. You, you need, like you need to work. Yeah. You need like you need to work together with other companies. You, you need to collaborate. Hundred percent. So which is another uh, another thing then so you have to you have to decide what skills you're going to develop in-house within your team and you need to decide what skills you're going to to outsource or collaborate with um, outsourcing and collaboration um, is great because you don't need to manage those those resources mm. it's terrible because you have to rely on somebody else to deliver and if your name is on the line with your client, it then impacts your relationship with that client. Mm. So there's all these calculations to do that you have to be aware of, and you have to you have to make sure you get right. Mm. Otherwise, it can be disastrous for your company and your your person, your brand, your company's brand. Um, it it's, it is very important to grow, to expand, to explore new options of revenue for your company mm. and and maximize as much as possible and, and um, there's a theory that says the the easiest uh, person to sell to is someone who's already your client yeah and um, so, so the cost, yeah the cost of getting someone new is always more than the cost of retaining someone that's already at yeah. exactly so selling them a new service um, is easier than finding new new clients on completely new clients so um, building your company around your client base is very important and having a good relationship with your client base is, is very important there's actually a company in Durban that I know um, that's managed to to, uh, to somewhat create uh, a co-working space okay um, but this co-working space it's it's for like it's for graphics design marketing advertising PR um, you know, like under one roof, and they all run their own individual companies. So when a client comes and says, "Hey guys, we need this, we need to launch our brand," and then they tell them, "Okay, cool, perfect, we can help you launch your brand." But do you have marketing? Um, no, but should, but then, aren't, you, aren't you guys marketing? No, 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 we're not marketing. We, you know, like we come up with a concept yeah. for you to launch your brand. However, you need to, we need to work with these guys for a you know to be able to to Mind be able to be able to exactly keep your keep your business sustainable over a longer period of time and you need to you know to you know like it's not just about how your brand looks it's also about the perception of your brand in people's mind you know where it sits in people's mind so there's a, there's a pr consultant they can actually um um, yeah, add value. They can add value to your company. So then you're able to work off each the each of the other companies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's very smart. Yeah, it is very smart. So if you haven't already subscribed to OBS Act, do that now. Subscribe below and remember to turn on the notification setting by ringing the notification button so that you'll be notified each time we release a new app. Thank you.